Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to look at the I.O. capabilities or the reading and writing capabilities of Pandas. So Pandas offers a lot of functions for reading and writing. So basically the read functions, for example, are the functions which are used to read the data from a given file onto a data frame. So let's say, for example, you can read the data from a variety of files such as CSV, JSON, HTML, Clipboard, Excel, and a lot of other file formats. So the write functions will allow you to dump the data from the data frame onto a file. So let's say, for example, the to CSV method creates a new file or, or the CSV type file and dumps the data or the data frame whatever you have onto that file so let's take a look at a simple example to you know to be able to understand this much better so let's start by creating a file uh, we'll create a CSV file then try to read the data create a CSV file with some data and then we're going to uh, read the CSV file and uh, read the contents of the CSV file onto a data frame and then try to manipulate the data and dump the data onto a new file. So I will go to E drive and uh, inside Python tutorials, I'm going to create a new folder called data. And let me open up a notepad plus plus to create a CSV file. So let's have two columns here. Uh, it's a comma separated file. So we have to, uh, the delimiter is comma, which is used here. So I have two columns here, name and weight. So let's give some random names such as Sam, Bob, and uh, maybe John. So the weight of uh, all these people, let's give it as, uh, you know, um, 56, uh, 45, and 54. Okay, let's save the file. Okay, I'll click on file and save as. Let's go to the destination where we want to save the file. Let's go to the Python tutorials in the E drive and uh, inside the data folder. I will name the file as input dot csv okay i'll click on save so if you take a look at the inside the data folder we now have input dot csv file so i'll click on edit with notepad plus plus we have this content so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new jupyter notebook and import pandas and try to read the data from this file okay using the read csv method so inside python tutorials i'm going to open up the command prompt and inside command prompt i will type jupyter space notebook to open up the jupyter notebook id inside my default browser <coughs> I'll click on new and Python 3 I'm gonna name it as IO tutorial so in here the first thing that we want to do is import pandas. So to import pandas, we'll type import pandas as pd. So it is done. So we're going to use this function read csv and read the contents of the file, which is, you know, input.csv into a data frame so let's write df 
equal to df is the data frame so you can it's a variable name you can give any name you wish to so in my case i'm giving df equal to pd dot read csv so the read csv is a method which is available in pandas so we're going to pass the file name uh, along with the folder right it is inside the data folder the root folder is this we open the command prompt here so inside the root folder we have to navigate inside data folder and inside nav data folder we have the input.csv so let's type data slash input dot csv so to execute this i'm going to click shift plus enter so to be able to view the data you have a function in uh, pandas called df.head which basically displays the first five rows of the data since we only have three rows it's going to display all of them so we have the name and weight displayed in a tabular format like this so the next step the next step that we are going to do is we'll try to add a new column to this and um, after adding a new column we're going to create a new file and dump the data frame onto that file right we're going to call it as output.csv so the first step that we want to do is we want to create a new column so we'll say df of so we'll create a new column uh, the name of the column we'll keep it as age and for now for the sake of uh, simplicity let's give the default uh, age as 25 for all the three uh, you know uh, people in uh, in this data okay so i say df of age equal to 25 what this basically does is it's creating it it, it is going to create a new column with a default um, value as 25 so we have a new another column name weight as well as h which is 25 for all the three people so now what we want to do is we want to check this two csv method what this two csv method is going to do is it's going to create a new file and dump all the data from this data frame onto that file so let's say <coughs> we have to write df dot to csv so there is one thing that you have to note here is the read csv method is available on the pandas right and two csv is available on the data frame so this is something that uh, uh, you have to observe it is two csv is available on df you don't have to write pd dot two csv you have to write data frame dot two csv so we'll write two CSV and inside this. So where do we want to create the for um, the output file is inside again the data folder, and we're going to name it as output dot CSV. So after writing executing this command, what happens is inside the data folder there is going to be another file created with the name output dot CSV after creation let's go ahead and look at the contents so i'll execute this command uh, with shift plus enter and if you go back to the folder and check the output file has now been created so let's right click and edit with notepad plus plus so if you can observe that we have a new column h right So that is about the you know uh, basic introduction to IO capabilities or the read and write capabilities or available in pandas.